hello everyone thank you for tuning into my channel um, I just took my hair down from a braid out and I am I had it in a style like this and then this flipped in the front like that and I'm about to get ready for bed so I know some of you think oh she just has the most perfect hair but I have some news for you I do not have the most perfect hair I do not have the best curl pattern I don't all those misconceptions you have about my hair I don't and um, the reason why I say that is because I think a lot of my new sub subbies um, have not watched enough of my previous videos prior to um, my new length to really understand um, what I was going through but I just want to put it out there that my hair is, is probably just as as difficult to work with as yours is. Um, and I don't mean difficult in a negative way. I just mean I don't have wash and go type of hair. You can't just throw water and conditioner on my hair and then get beautiful curls. You know, these curls take a lot of time. This is a braid out that I did after I conditioned my hair. Um, shampooed and conditioned and deep conditioned and then I did my whole pamp pampering regimen with the mist, the oil, the leave-in conditioner and the, the curl enhancing smoothie like it, it takes a lot of time and then after that I had to braid it all up sleep on it for a night and then take it down the next morning and this is the result now this is the end of the day and the way that I had it styled like this and like this you can see that the front of my hair is no longer laying down and it doesn't want to so you just keep sticking up and then the parts of my hair where the um, hair combs were slid in nice and snug have no curl pattern at all look at that there's no curl pattern here none look at this and then look at look at this one right next to it look at this curl pattern and look at this none it totally smoothed right out so what I'm going to do is try a new bedtime technique because I would rebraid my hair and sleep on it overnight because that's what it takes to get this new look, this similar look in the morning. Um, and if you haven't watched my hair of the day when I did my first braid out, I have my braid out hair of the day followed by a tutorial on doing the braid out followed by a day five braid out hairstyle and then a day six braid out hairstyle and you can see by day six there's like no more curl <laughs> no more curl and that's day six after rebraiding day two day three day four and day five take it down morning of day six and you can see that the curl pattern is completely gone so I just want to say that because I don't want my new subbies to, to think they're watching my videos and they can't achieve what I achieve it just takes work and it takes time and you have to be willing to do it and of course when I did my first um, two strand twists when I had a TWA they took me like an hour you know an hour and a half and then the more and more I did it the quicker and quicker I got and now I can do two strand twists like Okay, so I'm going to be doing a new nighttime technique. That's the point of this video. Um, I just really feel, felt the need to say that to everyone who's watching my videos and just like in love with my hair. I love it too, but this new nighttime technique is going to be a way for me to not have to go through the braiding every single night. Now that my hair is longer, I feel like I can get away with a couple things that I could not get away with before because frizz will just kick in right away. Um, but I watched a video of this lovely YouTuber. I'm gonna put her name over here because you need to check out her channel. She's so funny and I love her accent and her hair is gorgeous and um, she puts her hair in two ponytails. So I'm going to try more than two ponytails because I obviously don't have enough hair. I'm going to be using these ouchless bands, um, but I only have two that I can find. I don't know why because I've, I haven't had a reason to use them, um, but I think my husband broke them trying to put them over his locks, not realizing that this is way too small. So... Hmm. 
Hi, I'm so sorry that my camera died. But you know what? Because I love you all so much and I appreciate you all so much, I'm going to show you what I did to achieve my nighttime routine. But I'm not going to show you um, what it looks like tomorrow because I'm pretty much not wearing my hair like this. I'm about to go wash it and um, co-wash it and do something else. So I showed you my hair in the first clip of the video of what it looked like I, and um, I did a hair of the day video where I showed you what it looked like when I take, took it out of the ponytails and here's a picture. So that's what my hair looked like after I took it out of the ponytails. So because my camera died and I didn't get an opportunity to show you me putting or installing the ponytails, which I found out are called little pineapples, I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, so here we go. I, um, oh, and look how frizzy my hair is today. Talk about moisture in the air. The humidity level, I think, in Brooklyn was like 70 something today. So. I guess this is what I have to look forward to for the summer. <laughs> Frizz. Okay, so I'm using an elastic band. Um, and because I like to have a bang, as you can see, I'm going to section off the front to like the crown area. So I always say go by how you like to wear your hair. If you don't like to have full hair up here and you like it to be flat, then start a little bit lower so I'm gonna section this off with my elastic band and I hope they don't break because I don't have many so I'm gonna go around twice and I try to keep it towards the root but I am going to pull to get it more towards the root and I'm going to pull down on the front so that the band comes lower. Okay, so that's the first one. Now I'm going to section off the side. Can you see? Okay. I still have a really good curl definition in the back though. It's nice. And I'm going to bring it down low. I'm not going to section it up here, but down low because I want my hair to fall down beside my ear. So here's another one. And what you can do is if your hair is frizzy on your edges, because let's say for instance you pulled your hair up like how I did. Um, I would suggest maybe braid like right at the edges or twist right at the edges and then put it in the ponytail. So I bring it down and I stretch it, make sure it goes to the root. So there's the ponytail holder. Bring it down so it's like right by my ear. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. and bring it low so that I can have the hair hanging over my ear. Go around twice, tighten it, and bring it down. So that's three. <laughs> Don't I look like your, um, <laughs> your baby pictures <laughs> with your little ponytails all over? Okay, now I'm going to do a center piece slash crown. I went around um, three times if you were counting with me okay and then the bottom the back I'm just gonna put it into one and bring it low 
okay? So I actually used an elastic band for that one because I don't see any more rubber bands around. If you have enough elastic bands, do do it with that or you could use the ouchless bands, whatever. So I have my five. I have one, two, three in the front and this on the bottom and this one here. And all I did to, you know, cover my head up, I put on my bonnet. Very simple. I have a bonnet. Um... That has a la uh, not elastic, but it has a string. I got it from a beauty supply store. Usually, you find like these kind of bonnets with just the elastic. Um, these I need a new one every month because if I put my hair in, if I go to bed on an afro, it stretches it out. Or and then when I need when I do set my hair in braids or twist it's too big so I have to get another one that's smaller so I just decided to get one of these it's not elastic but it has string built into it so I can adjust it to my needs and all I did was put this on um, and if you don't have an opportunity to like get one of these kinds then what I did like me trying to be creative because I needed a tighter bonnet and mine had been stretched out and I needed to go to bed I put my bonnet on and as you can see it's it's too big that's just too loose and if you have a, one of your headbands put your headband around your bonnet like that and now it's not loose anymore because it's not gonna move it's gonna move of course you have space in here but uh, from around your head it's not gonna move easily so that's my tip to you if you have a bonnet that's too loose and you can just use one of your out your elastic headbands and put it around to hold it into place so this is pretty much what I did and then in the morning I took it off and you're gonna have obviously a lot of parts from where your little ponytails were so it will require some manipulation I put my finger in both loops and I pull it out um, you might find that that hurts you it does not hurt me and I just don't have the time to go and try to find the how I twisted it around um, so at least for my hair there's no pulling um, this one and that's why I only do it around like twice because I don't want to be fighting with an elastic band and I think I did this one three times because I'm having difficulty. Okay. I just broke it. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you probably want to go only twice like I did the first night. I don't know why I decided to do it twice, three times for some of them because it's, it is a little bit harder to separate by doing that. Okay, I think I broke that one too. And if you have the ouchless bands, then of course you don't really have to worry about breaking them. Okay, so this is what I had in the morning. I had just like puffs all over like this. And what I did was I just manipulated. I mean, you've seen me manipulate before, so you know I play and I play until I get rid of parts or unnecessary spaces and gaps so I just played and played and played I brought these sides down separate I put my part in I went like this a few times because I love my part to define it more otherwise my hair will just swallow it up tease the front pull it down and voila <laughs> now um if you have any questions about it please feel free to leave me a message a comment or inbox me or write on my fan page on my facebook and um let me know what you think and if this process works for you you gotta let me know Bye, ladies.